What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba Arena. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are gonna be notified every time we upload new content. Now I know a lot of you has been asking about a rig rundown series from us and what personal dive gear uh, do I use? And I've done this in the past. I've showed you all my public safety gear, all my teaching gear, all just my fun diving. You guys have seen my side mount rigs and things like that. But this is 2022 and my gear needs have changed over the years. So I have got a lot of new upgraded equipment that I wanna show you guys. But to do that, I need to do it in a series of videos. So today is gonna be part one of a series of Brian's personal rig rundowns. And hopefully it'll help you understand why I use the equipment that I do. Well, we're gonna start with cylinders today. I've gotta to run you down here to the shop because that's where I've got all my cylinders stored currently. And I want you guys to see what I'm currently using and kind of learn why as well. So with that being said, let's get started. So guys, as you can see, we've got a slew of tanks here. Now, some of these are my personal tanks and we're gonna look at them very briefly. Uh, but we'll start with the smaller tanks. Of course, I've got a 53 here. This is an aluminum 53. This is one of my daughter's tanks. She's also got an aluminum 63, which a lot of times I'll use whenever I'm diving with her. I do have a video coming out in the future where we're gonna show you how you can plan out your dives with two different divers using two different capacity of tanks. This question comes up quite a bit. How do we know what tank's gonna be right for us? And I do have a series on calculate how much gas you need for a particular dive, but I'm gonna be making a video specifically on how to dive with someone who has a different capacity tank than you. But starting with these two, we've got an aluminum 53, aluminum 63. I've also got an aluminum 40 here. Now I've also got an aluminum 30. It's currently being rented out, but we've got a 30 and a 40 as far as pony bottles. Now, other personal tanks here, I have three nitrox bottles that are aluminums as well. Now, these are just aluminum 80s here. You can see they've all got uh, nitrox in them. A lot of times I will leave my personal tanks down here to be rented out for store use as well. That's why you're gonna see them down here. Now, moving over to what steel cylinders I have, I have three small steel cylinders. I've got a steel 50, that's a high pressure 3500, and then I've got two steel 80s that are also high pressure 3500s as well. I really prefer the shorter tanks. They really fit my body type in general, and I just like small compact things like that. Now, I do have two other steel 80s, and that's what's currently I've got doubled up, and these are my personal doubles here. Now, you guys know I'm not a huge fan of doubles, but I do wear them occasionally whenever I need to. So I do have two steel 80s here that I've got doubled up as well, and then we come over to the side mount bottles that I've got, and I've showed you this in a video pr uh, previously where I went through my dive locker and I showed you tanks I have added some if you can't tell. We have a slew of side mount bottles and the majority of these are mine. They're not the shops, but yet again, I do leave them here. So I've got one, two, three, four, five sets of side mount bottles now. Now I do have some other side mount uh, bottles over here that yellow and blue, those belong to uh, one of our dive masters. But why do I leave them here? Well, the reason is we teach a ton of side mount courses here and it's just easier to leave them at the shop, rent them out when they need to be rented out. And then if I go somewhere where I need that many side mount bottles, then of course I can take them with me as well. But that's it for the tanks, guys. Goes all the way to aluminum 53, 63, the 30 that's non-existent right now, the 40. A couple of uh, Nitrox 80s there, a ton of side mount bottles. Then I've got a steel 50, a steel 80, another steel 80, and then two steel 80s that are doubled up as well. So there you go guys, that's my personal cylinders that I use every single day, whether I'm side mount diving, public safety diving, salvage diving, or just teaching open water scuba, or even just going out for a fun day of diving. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I do want you to stay tuned because I'm gonna do my complete total rig rundowns of everything from BCs to computers to rec sets to exposure suits. But this is just part one. Stay tuned for part two because I will be looking at my personal BC systems and showing you what I'm currently using there. I've got a slew of them. I'm actually gonna have a 
them rigged up on some of these cylinders just so that you can see how they work. And then of course we'll move into another video with the regulators and computers and so forth and so on. But I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you got any questions, drop me a comment down below. If you liked the video, big thumbs up, definitely share it as well. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always guys, we appreciate your business.